Five tight ends in the history of the league have played 15 years or more. They're all great. Jackie Smith, Antonio Gates, Jason Witten, Tony Gonzalez, and now Mercedes Lewis, who just signed a two-year extension in Green Bay. I believe the best team easily right now in the NFL. So this is funny. You were talking during the break, Mercedes Lewis joining us for our radio audience. You are still in a great shape. You are at, if anybody, any, first of all, you're very well liked in the league. And so there's a reason you got an extension because the tape says you're still a dominating blocker. And you know that, right? You, George Kittle, there's a handful of guys that can really block. What is it just DNA? What do you think you are in year 16? You are physically still <laughs> dominant point of attack. Is it mom? Is it dad? Is it, is it the guy upstairs? What is it? <laughs> Uh, I think it's a, a mixture of all those things. I think, you know, obviously um, born with a lot and, and physically gifted, but uh, just the work that I put in um, over the course of my entire career, not just NFL, but uh, when I first started playing ball when I was eight, uh, I mean, it, it's just been one of those things that, um, you know, my mom, my stepdad, you know, always instilled uh, in the house and just working hard. You know, and going out there and not making excuses. And, you know, for me, I take my job very seriously. And I know that, um, you know, not just my coaches or, or my teammates, but my family depends on me. And, um, you know, when I step out there in the field, I always wanted to be, you know, my best product every, every time I step on the field. You're an adult. You're yeah. a serious football player. Yeah. So you tell me uh, Joy likes taunting. I love, <laughs> I love, I would hand the ball off to the ref. Now, I had a very strict high school coach, and I'm older. So when you score, what do you make of the taunting rules? Uh, I mean, I, I feel like they're missing the mark a little bit as far as uh, what they consider taunting. Uh, you got to understand, like, this in this game, it's very tough to make plays. It's very tough to score a touchdown, and it's tough to win in this league. And so, you know, we spend, uh, what is it, Monday through Saturday grinding, Right to go out there on Sunday and let it all hang loose. For 40 and plays, 50 plays. Come on, and sometimes 70 plays, 75 plays, depending on your quarterback and, and, and right. your defense and how much you get the ball back, you know? And when you make a play, we want to we want to celebrate it. And uh, the refs, uh, I don't know, sometimes they out there and I think they think it's about them. Like, bro, nobody's coming to see you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not paying to go okay. see the refs. Okay, so I um, I just intercepted the ball. I just intercepted the ball, and it was intended for you, and I intercepted it. And I'm running, and I turn to you and look at you <laughs> and point. Is that taunting? Yeah. So that, you would call that taunting? Yeah. Like, I think if, you do, if, it, if it gets personal, like, if, you're, if you turn towards me and do that, then you, you got to be ready to come, be ready to, whatever comes with that, just be ready for that. You so know what I mean? you don't like that? Nah. Like, so what's okay? Like, if you, if you catch a pick and you do your thing or whatever, just continue on facing the other way, doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, don't turn towards me. But you think, if I did a backflip, you don't give a rip. Nah. Just nah, you can do whatever you want on your own time, I, I think. But when you face that person, then that's taunting, right? That, like, I think that's, like, the thin line. All right, that's fair. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do this really quick. I'm gonna Here do we go. I'm going to do it just quickly because you are considered an elite blocker. Now, I'm an old, sad man, so don't throw me into anything. <laughs> okay. So you have a rule on blocking, and tell the audience what the – there's a secret to this stuff. It ain't just – because you should be an old man who can't block, and you're throwing guys – you're like a cattle rancher. You're throwing guys yeah. – Yellowstone, like Costner. You're throwing people around. What's the rule? So, you know, obviously the parity in this league is – is amazing. Right. So the margin for error is super small, right? And I, I like to think of myself as a really good technician when it comes to blocking. Yeah. And uh, I try to think about it as aim small, miss small, right? And what I mean by that is if, say, if I'm on the left side or the right side of the line and the guy is coming off the edge, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to aim small and miss small. So if I do miss, it's going to be small and I'll be able to recover from it. If my technique is bad and my hands are outside and I'm just – closing my eyes and not seeing what I'm hitting, then chances are I'm probably going to get beat. And so, um, you know, that's something that we echo uh, throughout our, our building and, you know, obviously in our tight end room and my young tight ends, we aim small, we miss small. And, you know, I've, I've come out on top more times than not a because lot. of it. All right. So Matt LaFleur, you're welcome. 
off time. I am teaching football <laughs> to your players. So I'm going to come around. Okay. And uh, Joy, you do play by play. Sure. All right. Here comes Colin. Okay. So I'm going to take an interior rush. And I'll Colin is see taking an goes. interior so where would rush. I be, you, you'd be here. Like, so, even if you're, it depends. If you want to be in a six technique, I want a which six means, technique. okay, that's head okay, up. So I'm going to go interior rush. Okay. And I want to just know where your hands go. Now, set, okay. boom. Oh, God. Yes. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> now, what, 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 I'm doing that, right? Right. Okay, so let's but, do it but again. I've already, but You've I've already, already established it. I've already, okay, yeah. Okay, boom. I've already, I'm already here, and I'm already grabbing your breastplate. So even if you're trying to like, you can, you can, yeah. you can try to. You guys even should, if you're trying to do that. Turn this way. I'm going to produce this. Strong. Yeah, just rotate your yeah. body that way so the cameras can see what okay. you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Hi, America. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to do six out. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna, you're gonna like act like you're spiking and then okay, go so out. So you stand okay. up here. So oh, it, it, it's all yeah. about it's all about the footwork. Boom. So I'm going to protect my worst first, right? The worst thing that could happen is you can you can crease, right? Do you hear yes. the audience hear that? Yes, yeah. Worst first. Yeah, so you can okay. pirate. So I'm going to step here. Boom. Small step. Once I see that you're, you don't take that route, then I'm already here, strong outside hand, and then I'm just going to take you where you want to go. That is a <laughs> I'm so glad that that went well. I'm, a, I'm not lying. I, my, uh, I'm all, very hot, honestly, s- sweaty over here. First of all, your base is insane. Yeah, I yeah. told you that, Carl. <laughs> it's insane, your base. You are what? You're, how I'm 6'2", 195, and twitchy. Twitch, yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Very scrappy, heady player. But it's incredible. On the interior rush, the power that you grab yeah. with. That's in now. How much do you weigh? Two sixty. I was like sixty eight this morning. Oh my god! Yeah, it's incredible. By the way, Aaron doesn't think I like him. I do. He just makes a lot of news, and I talk about him. I do think he's complex and fascinating. Sometimes a little maintenance there. Not not my you know my thing. But um, is he a fun teammate? He is uh, one of the best teammates I've ever had. Why? And uh, well, first and foremost, just the way he competes, right? And he's one of those guys, and we talked about it before. If you if you come into work and you put the time in and you grind, like he gravitates towards you. Oh, he does. Right? And I'm the same way. So is Devontae, so is Batiari. Like this game is 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 hard to do, man. And oh, and, if, and if you're in a building and, and you're not putting in the time. He doesn't have time for I'm it. really, I'm I'm really not gonna, I'm probably gonna walk past you. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's hard for me to, this is all we are doing here, so why not give, give your all, right? And so if you're not doing that, then it makes it hard for me to connect with you on any other level. Thank you. So, so that, that goes to the old Seinfeld routine where he's dating a girl, and I don't know if you ever watched it, and she says, well, I don't really respect your act. <laughs> and he's like, well, you work at a grocery store. I'm, you know, whatever he said. But the point was, she goes, I, if I don't respect your act, then we can't date. Could you, re- could you date somebody you didn't respect? No, no. I'm the same way that way. Yeah, I mean, it, it he's, uh. Have you ever had a teammate, you have to say his name, super talented, lazy, apathetic? Oh, they're, they're all throughout the league. Not just the league, college, high school. And you school. just can't deal with them. Yeah, I mean, it's, and it's nothing against them personally. Yeah. Right? I, I could have, you know, we could be great friends off the field. But as far as, like, on the field, if you're not putting in that work, it's hard for me. It's always going to be a wall. You know what I mean? Like, it will, our friendship will only go so far. Isn't that great? I'm going to turn you on that taunting thing. Um I think the Packers, and I've said this, I think they're the best team in the E League this year. And I think it's the best team Aaron's ever had. And I think he knows it. And and I and I said this, not that Aaron gets bored, but Aaron is so gifted. Sometimes if you're a gifted musician, you could be Axl Rose, you you get bored and you like to create a little bit of conflict <laughs> because it, it keeps you Michael Jordan used to do that. Mm-hmm. Like Michael would create villains. I just read a business book the other day. They said, when you start a business, you need to create like an adversary. Right. So your company has something to aim at. And if I said to you, I think sometimes Aaron just likes to talk to create a little conflict because it keeps him, it keeps him kind of centered and it keeps him focused. Is that crazy sounding? No, it's not crazy. And I mean, I also think that like, unless you're there with him, like 
you know, obviously, like, the media and news, they have, you know, certain perspectives based on things that they've heard, right? Right, right, so right. you'll have preconceived notions based on friends of friends or, you know, just media colleagues talking about certain right. things, but you don't really know unless you're, like, there with him. And I think he knows that, and he, like, he likes that. You know what I mean? He likes that, like, you don't really know him, you know? So he's able to kind of navigate the way he <laughs> navigates because you can't, like, what, what are you saying that based on what? You know what I mean? Like, you're not with me every day, so you don't really have a say-so. And I think he feeds off that. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he's he's one of those fierce competitors that, you know, whatever he's whatever he's doing has been working for all these years. Can I, can I ask a personal question? Yeah. I've interviewed you 20 times. I've never asked you a personal question. Okay. Good-looking rich guy. What are you doing a Tuesday night in Green Bay? <sighs> Tuesday night, Green Bay, get a massage, maybe go to the movies, maybe get by yourself? Yeah, maybe get it some takeout, just vibe. Like it's no club, no ever. You're not really a club guy. Nah. I mean you're not, not. it's not really your scene. But it, let's say, let's say it's winter, it's cold. <sighs> Girlfriend. It's nothing to do. You're just off your feet. Is that too personal? Are you uncomfortable with that? You nah. can ask me about my life. I'm in bed by 8.40. Completely boring. I'm, I'm, in, bed, I'm in bed by 9.40. So, <laughs> so you're boring too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Green Bay, there, I'm, I'm I think chilling. it's built for you. So you live near, you live, I know where you live. Mm -hmm. I know, not exactly, but I know the street you live by. Yeah. Okay. That is all uptown, beautiful people. Yeah. I think in a strange way, Green Bay is perfect for you because your other life is full of. Yeah. Like, and, and, and like we were talking about before, from, February to July and I'm home, I can go get whatever I want to get, right? Whether it's travel, be in LA, do my thing, like that's great, right? But then from the end of July all the way through February, now I can lock in, you know? So it's always like that good balance of like being in LA, doing my thing. So you're, and, you're a person, this is, I, I feel the same way. I think you're the same way, Joy. You're, you're okay with board. Yeah. I'm the same way. I'm good with, I have I'm, chicken parm, bed at 8.30. Oh. I love it here. I, I love being by myself and chilling and like, you know, I, I'll DJ or whatever, like just whatever I could think of and just relax, you know? Hey, why don't you, I, I thought about this, uh, Chip Kelly, you, you and I both like Chip Kelly. Yep. When you're done blocking people and throwing them into the wall, have you thought about, and I'm dead serious on this, go to UCLA and coach tight ends. I mean, it's definitely been a thought. And I think, you know, four years ago, um, when I was, you know, when I, I came on the show and was thinking about retirement, you know, uh, I think that was definitely up there as far as like what I wanted to do. Obviously, I still want to be a part of the game when I'm finished. Um, I love ball, um, love connecting with the kids. And um, I would hire you in 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm not joking. Appreciate it. I would hire you in one second. Yeah. I mean, you are you are the classic that's a good retirement plan, except you're a grinder, so you yeah. you got no interest. You'd, the minute you got beaten a recruit, you'd get feisty. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what it's all about. I compete when I wake up in the morning. So, um, you know, obviously it's definitely an option um, that, I'll, that I'll keep open. But, you know, right now, you know, I, I, still, I still love ball. And when I wake up in the morning, I still have that. I'm still eager to go compete and, 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 and win. So When you grabbed my chest plate, did you sense the power – yeah, I feel like you just got finished working out. <laughs> Pretty vascular there. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh my God. It's great seeing you. Appreciate you. I love having you on. Hey, Chip Kelly, I know you have a tight end coach. Nothing wrong with having two. Yep. UCLA's got a big budget. A lot, lot of money over there in Bel Air. Definitely cut the check. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good luck to you. You're Thank you. easy to root for. All right, joy with the news. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.